The purpose for this demonstration is to show the connection between power supply, fan, and push-button switch to a ladder logic circuit diagram that shows those components. The power supply is shown here, 12 volts DC power rail on the left, the neutral rail on the right, and the rung which contains the fan and the normally open push-button switch. When the normally open push-button switch is depressed, the fan is then connected to its 12-volt supply. In this part of the demonstration, we replace the normally open push-button switch with a normally closed push-button switch. The power rails remain the same, the fan remains the same, the only change is the switch. The switch is here. The power is off. When the power is applied, the fan runs. When the switch is depressed, the switch opens, stopping power to the fan. But normally, the switch is closed and the fan has power continually. In this part of the demonstration, we have two switches in series with the fan. Everything else remains the same. And there are four possible switch motions. Both switches are not pressed. B switch is pressed, but not A. A switch is pressed, but not B. Both switches are pressed. And the fan can be off or on. If we do not press A or B, power is applied to the rails, but the fan is not turning. If we press switch B, the fan will remain at rest. If we press switch A, the fan is energized. And if we press both switches, the fan remains unenergized. And this completes the demonstration of some simple logic applied to this circuit. This is called the A or B case. If you were to complete the uh, truth table, what would be the ones and zeros in the fan column? In this configuration, we add a relay, an electromechanical relay. The relay has a coil. The relay also has a pair of normally open contacts. Both of these are the same relay, but different components of the relay. We still have the fan, we still have 12 volts DC on the rails, and we have switches A and B. This truth table is a little different from the previous truth table. Each row assumes the previous configuration. For example, in row one, neither switches are pressed. In row two, switch A is pressed after being not pressed. In row three, A is not pressed. In row four, B is pressed. In row five, B is pressed again after being pressed. Then in this row, both A and B are pressed. And in the final row, neither are pressed. I'll do the first few rows. A and B are not pressed. 
Both the relay and the fan are off. I press A. Both the relay and the fan are on. I then press neither. Both the relay and the fan remain on. Then I press B. Both the fan and the relay go off. Then I press B again. Both the relay and the fan are still off. And then I press A and B. Then I release both. 